This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. Try Dashlane Premium free for 30 days at www.dashlane.com slash infographics. And never forget another password and keep all your online accounts secure. For centuries, Europe has been a global military juggernaut, and throughout the 15th and 20th centuries, its armies and navies have dominated the world. Yet after two disastrous world wars, the European powers saw their former empires collapse, and along with them much of their global clout. Today, Europe remains amongst the preeminent military powers, but no European nation can even come close to matching their former might. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 military powers in Europe and figure out who is still top dog and who's at the bottom of the pack. Number 10. Czechia Czechia, or the Czech Republic, was one of the first nations to throw off the yoke of the Soviet Union. Through the peaceful Velvet Revolution, Czechoslovakia overthrew communism and once more became a liberal democracy in November 1989. Four years later, the nation would split into two countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, and by 2006 the Czech Republic was recognized by the World Bank as a developed country. A small nation, Czechia's military is split into the Czech Land Forces and Czech Air Force, with smaller specialized units falling somewhere in between the two. In 1999, Czechia became part of NATO and its soldiers have seen combat in Afghanistan, Mali, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, Egypt, Israel and Somalia. After ending compulsory service in 2004, Czechia has focused on a modernization initiative that sees it replacing all of its former Soviet-era equipment, and by 2027 should see it field a completely modernized force. Today, Czechia's military stands at 25,000 active duty personnel and have an air force strength of 100 aircraft, to include 12 fighters and 28 attack aircraft. While small in number, its air force can count on the JAS-39 Gripen multi-role fighter, an extremely capable aircraft manufactured by Sweden. On the ground, Czechia fields 116 tanks and 437 armored fighting vehicles, supported by 86 self-propelled artillery and 85 towed artillery. Unfortunately, Czechia's tank forces are made up exclusively of Soviet-built T-72s. And as part of a $4.5 billion modernization initiative, the Czech Republic is looking at various tank models to include the German Leopard and the American Abrams to replace its aging fleet. A lack of multiple launch rocket systems, however, leaves Czech ground forces vulnerable in either offensive or defensive operations, as MLRSs are capable of pumping out a huge volume of fire in a very short time, compared to traditional artillery, which limits how much time enemy units have to get under cover. Small but formidable, Czechia currently takes the number 10 spot in the top 10 European powers. Number 9. Ukraine Despite a civil war lasting since 2014, Ukraine still tops the list of top European military powers and comes in at the number 9 spot. Currently, Ukrainian military forces number at 1.2 million, with 205,000 active duty forces and 1 million reservists, whom have been continuously rotated in and out of active duty since the start of hostilities against the separatist forces of Donetsk and Luhansk. Facing off against an insurgency that is financially and materially backed up by Russia, Ukraine military forces have been facing an onslaught of modern Russian-made equipment for half a decade, forcing the government to reinvigorate its defense spending. At the end of the conflict, Ukraine's military was in shambles, having sold off most of its Soviet-era military equipment without replacing it, and with a military that was poorly trained and with extremely poor morale. With the aid of the American and NATO military advisors, though, Ukraine's army has slowly been shaping up into a professional military force. The United States in particular have been providing large amounts of aid to Ukraine in the forms of military hardware, providing them with hundreds of anti-tank and surface-to-air missile systems. Against the rebel forces, however, these are largely useless, and the rebels do not operate tanks nor have an air force. But the stockpile of modern anti-tank and anti-air missile systems has ensured that Ukraine could exact a very heavy toll on Russia should it choose to interfere again. With a limited budget, Ukraine is nonetheless looking to modernize its 800 Soviet-era BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles and has a domestic modernization program to evolve the Soviet-made BMP-1. While operating aging T-84 and T-80 main battle tanks, Ukraine has little reason to seek an upgrade to its tank fleet, 
as the urban nature of their conflict against the Russian-backed separatists does not favor the use of battle tanks. Believed to be weak by Russia when it backed separatist forces in 2014, Ukraine has nonetheless proven that it has a resilient military, and with the aid of the United States and other NATO nations, looks set to become a very experienced and professional force that will give Russia second thoughts about attempting to force the nation back into its Soviet-era sphere of influence. Number 8. Greece Greece is one of NATO's most important military powers, the nation's location along the Mediterranean making it a strategic linchpin in controlling naval activities in the region. While currently undergoing serious economic troubles, Greece nonetheless is one of the few NATO allies who is currently meeting the alliance's commitment for all nations to fund their militaries at a level of at least 2% of GDP. Greece is also one of the United States' closest allies, with their military force partaking in countless exercises together and operating side by side everywhere from Kosovo to Afghanistan and Iraq. Currently, the Greek military numbers at 360,500, with 140,000 active duty personnel and 220,500 reservists. Unfortunately, Greece continues the practice of compulsory military service, which results in low personnel retention rates and low morale overall. Ranked as the 20th most powerful air force in the world, Greece fields a total of 187 fighters, 187 attack aircraft, and 29 attack helicopters. Most of its air force is made up of American-made F-16s, and recently Greece signed an agreement with the US to modernize its fleet of F-16s with modern electronics and upgraded radar. Currently mulling purchases of the F-35, Greece is looking to balance a need to field a modern military with its current economic situation. Number 7. Poland Poland is no stranger to conflict and has historically been the battleground for any war between Western and Eastern European powers. Today, though, Poland is keenly aware of its vulnerability to Russian aggression thanks to the Swalki Gap, a 65-mile-wide strip of territory that links Lithuania and the Baltic NATO allies with the rest of the alliance. Thought of as the modern Fulda Gap, a strip of territory in Germany where NATO expected mass Soviet forces to stream through and into Western Europe, Poland has taken its defensive commitments to the alliance quite seriously, and today is one of the few members to meet or exceed the 2% of GDP spending goal. Today, Poland fields a military of 105,000 active duty personnel, with a military geared at slowing down and delaying a Russian advance into Western Europe. A lifeline between the rest of NATO and the Baltics, Poland understands all too well that it will be the most strategically important battleground in any conflict against Russia. Thus, Poland has engaged in an aggressive modernization program program, with aims to replace its aging and very troubled fleet of MiG-29s with fifth-generation fighters, likely the F-35. The Polish military has also prioritized the acquisition of anti-air missile systems and signed a multi-billion dollar contract with US defense manufacturer Raytheon to supply it with the Patriot missile system. With big acquisitions in new submarines, short-range anti-air missiles, and a new main battle tank, Poland is set to become one of NATO's most important military allies. Number 6. Spain Once threatening to wipe out England's independence, Spain's days as a global superpower are far in the past. Yet today it remains one of the most formidable militaries in the world. Spain's military numbers at 139,500, with 124,000 active duty personnel and 15,500 reservists. Despite its small numbers though, Spain overwhelmingly fields modern military equipment and maintains one of Europe's most formidable navies. Its air force is equipped with modern Eurofighters and American-made F-18 Hornets, which also operate from its one active aircraft carrier. Despite intense pressure from the rest of Europe, Spain is also looking to possibly acquire the F-35 over European-made alternatives. With 327 Leopard 2 and Leopard 2E tanks, Spain's ground forces are certainly to be feared, though its relative lack of attack helicopters would leave the bulk of anti-armor operations to its infantry and armored forces. Despite its military strength though, Spain has been increasingly criticized by other NATO allies for actually decreasing spending on its military relative to its GDP, falling from 1.23% of GDP in 2014 to 0.93% of GDP in 2018. Spain's economic booms have not been reflected in its military expenditures, a fact that the US in particular has been very quick to point out. 
Number 5. Italy Italy finds itself struggling to hold on to its number 5 spot as it faces economic turmoil in a government that seems to have no clear vision on the future of its armed forces. Plagued for years by a lack of planning, legislature meant to ensure that the military funding is set in advance and binding for at minimum 3 year periods failed to be passed, and thus the Italian military finds itself in the same economic lurch that has been in for nearly a decade. Currently, Italy fails to meet its 2% of GDP spending requirement by a wide margin and the figure continues to decrease. To make matters worse, the defense budget is set on a yearly basis with predicted future figures for the following years, which are in no way binding. This makes the acquisition of big ticket items such as new fighters, tanks, and other expensive weapon systems all but impossible. Despite budget woes, Italy is still considered the preeminent Mediterranean naval power, and its fleet of five aircraft carriers, 12 frigates, four destroyers, and eight submarines ensure that NATO interests are very safely guarded in the Mediterranean. Its air force is also considerable, with 94 fighters, 182 attack aircraft, and 59 attack helicopters. As a partner in the F-35 program, Italy will soon be upgrading its combat aircraft with the F-35 Lightning II, though it will retain a sizable fleet of Eurofighter Typhoons. Number 4. Germany after two disastrous world wars, Germany drastically scaled back its military ambitions. Though during the Cold War, the West German Bundeswehr was an extremely capable and well-equipped force. Immediately after reunification, its military forces were cut back to the bare minimum. Where once Germany was a military juggernaut that threatened world domination, twice. Today, Germany is a much more reserved military power, which has purposefully made it a point to limit its ability to operate in an expeditionary manner. Focused more on defense of itself and Europe, Germany today fields a military of 208,641, with 178,641 active duty personnel and 30,000 reservists. The German Air Force is particularly troubled, though it fields very capable aircraft that is crippled with logistical issues and a shortage of pilots. A recent internal study found that German Air Forces could not be reliably called upon to join an ongoing NATO operation in the case of Russian aggression. Similar problems plague the German Navy, and though its defense industry creates some of the most capable conventional submarines in the world, its own fleet is also experiencing logistical difficulties, mostly due to bureaucratic problems. On the ground, however, Germany operates hundreds of Leopard 2 tanks, widely considered one of, if not the best battle tank in the world. Number 3. Great Britain It was once said that the sun never set on the British Empire, thanks to the vast amounts of territory it held all around the world. Sadly, after the Second World War, British military might wax precipitously. And though it remains a formidable military power, it's also an extremely fragile one. That is thanks in large part to the fact that the once legendary British military industrial complex is but a sliver of its former self. And today Britain must partner either with the US or other European allies in order to develop and procure new military hardware. For centuries considered the greatest of naval powers, today Britain must seek the help of the US in order to build its new astute class submarines. Despite its troubles though, Britain remains a formidable military power, though it has recently slipped from the second most powerful military in Europe to third. Its air forces are in great shape, and the RAF will soon be flying the F-35. On the ground, Britain continues to operate the Challenger II main battle tank, without a doubt the best defended battle tank in the world. And where its defense industry has atrophied severely, Britain nonetheless continues to develop some of the most advanced vehicle armor plating materials in the world. Unfortunately, the once mighty British Navy is but a ghost of its former self, and its fleet of 19 surface combat ships is routinely forced to mothball individual vessels for months at a time due to a lack of personnel. To make matters worse, the launching of two new Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are threatening to cannibalize the rest of their surface fleet due to the expense of the vessels. Number 2. France Power in Europe has traditionally swung back and forth between France and Great Britain, but today that pendulum is firmly in France's favor. While the British defense industry has atrophied and largely wasted away, France maintains a very strong and independent military industrial base. Its defense companies produce some of the world's best fighter aircraft, submarines, and tanks. Most notably, while Britain depends on the US to develop and maintain its nuclear arsenal, France has a completely independent air and land-based nuclear deterrent using French missiles with French warheads. 
Reds. While Britain's navy finds itself in increasingly perilous waters, the French navy has in recent years become the dominant naval force in Europe, with a very strong expeditionary capability that allows it to operate far from friendly shores. Its forces include one nuclear carrier with three conventional smaller carriers, 11 frigates, 12 destroyers, and 10 submarines. In the air, the French Air Force operates 273 fighter and strike aircraft, along with 56 attack helicopters, and all modern and extremely capable models. On the ground, France operates 406 main battle tanks, and a fleet of 6,300 armored fighting vehicles that give its infantry incredible mobility and protection in a modern battlefield. With an eye to the future, France recently established a red team of science fiction writers whose job is to hypothesize future war scenarios that the French military may one day face, proving that the French military is set to dominate Europe not just today but well into the future. Number 1. Russia Russia once operated the largest military force in the world. With hordes of tanks and armored vehicles so vast that NATO military planners feared that war with the Soviet Union would be unwinnable without the use of tactical nuclear weapons. For decades, the Soviet military-industrial complex delivered cutting-edge military technologies, and just years before the end of the Cold War, a CIA study showed that though at the time the US led the Soviet Union in total areas of scientific superiority, the Soviet Union would not just catch up but exceed the US within a decade. Sadly, the mighty military-industrial complex complex of the Soviet Union collapsed into ashes after the dissolution of the communist regime. Despite this, Russia continues to develop cutting-edge military technologies, proving that its scientists are still among the world's best. Though unfortunately many times those breakthrough military technologies are left on the drawing board due to budget woes. Russia's legendary fifth-generation Sukhoi Su-57 is one such example, with development on the fighter officially postponed indefinitely due to an inability to finance its procurement. The T-14 Armada tank is another casualty of Russia's budget shortfalls, and despite being widely considered the world's first true next-generation tank, planned purchases of 2000 by 2020 fell to just 100 and then to the complete cancellation of the main production run. Despite its budget woes, Russia maintains the second most formidable military in the world. Plagued by the embarrassingly poor performance of its forces against Chechen rebels and Georgian military forces in 2006, Russia has proven that it has overcome strategic and operational shortcomings in the years since. Today, Russia may be a much maligned state due to its actions on the world stage, but none doubt that it still packs a considerable punch which no nation, including the US, is eager to test. Something else no one is eager to test? Being hacked and having your online accounts compromised. It can seriously harm your life and the financial impact can be devastating. Luckily for you, Dashlane has your back. Dashlane auto-generates and stores super strong unique passwords for your different online accounts, so signing in is as easy as just clicking a single button. Plus, Dashlane will work on any platform, so you're always able to log in with ease and you're always secure. Their constant monitoring of your information will immediately alert you to any hacks or breaches on the sites you have accounts for, and their ultralight VPN will encrypt your online activity with just the push of a button. Head on over to dashlane.com infographics for a free 30-day trial, and if you use the coupon code infographics, you can get 10% off a premium subscription today.